Assalamualaikum and good morning to all Band FM listeners. I am Amir Hassan reporting for Band FM Breaking News. The Libyan military bomb two key towns in the east again Thursday, stepping up efforts to reclaim a region lost to rebels. The aircraft targeted Albrega and Ajadbia, both of which were hit by bombs Wednesday. Opposition forces told they were forging ahead, working to maintain their positions and fend off attack by pro gaddafi forces. Rebels have armed themselves in some cases by raiding military installations and police stations. Moral on the part of opposition seems to be high, while moral among Gaddafi's forces, which have seen def- defections as some members of the military have joined the protest, seems low, reported from Eastern Libya. Libyan jets Thursday dropped two bombs over Albrega, one near a military checkpoint and one near a main gate to a refinery witnesses reported. In Ajabia, a tribal leader said the military dropped two bombs on military camps. Witnesses told us that one bomb was near an ammunition depot. Gaddafi's regime Thursday so to create an impression that it still controls the vast majority of the country, with rebels in charge of only pockets. Protesters calling for the ouster of longtime leader, Gaddafi have taken to the streets for a third week, amid clashes with government forces. He has been in power for nearly 42 years. Now, to Nick City Adrina for weather forecast. Thank you to Amiro. You are now listening to weather forecast segment. There will be occasional storms in Georgetown, Ipoh, Johor Bahru, Kelang, Kota Bahru, Shah Alam, Seremban, Alustar and Kanga with the maximum temperature around 32 degrees Celsius to 29 degrees Celsius and minimum temperature is around 25 degrees Celsius to 23 degrees Celsius. The storm is expected to happen in those mentioned cities around noon to evening. Meanwhile, in Kota Kinabalu, there will be isolated thunderstorm in the morning with the maximum temperature is 30 degrees Celsius and the minimum temperature is 24 degrees Celsius. In Kuantan, a storm has been expected to happen in the evening with the maximum temperature is 31 degrees Celsius and minimum temperature is 24 degrees Celsius. Last but not least, in Kuala Terengganu, there will be a light rain at night with the temperature is 30 degrees Celsius and minimum temperature is 23 degrees Celsius. That's all from me. Now, back to Amiru. Now, we will listen to Sports News with Nadira. Thank you, Amiru. Sports News. Felipe Massa was left frustrated after his first session at the Valencia testing was cut short when his Ferrari F150 caught fire. On Tuesday and Wednesday, Fernando Alonso had racked up over 200 laps in the car, but when Massa's turn came, it was all too brief as the F150 gave up with a speed of flames from the rear of the car exiting turn 3. An oil leak was to blame and it caught Massa unaware, forcing him into a spin heading into turn 4. As soon as the car came to a halt, the bodywork started to smolder and a plume of white smoke was visible from the pit lane. The frustration, the frustration on Massa's face was clear to see as he had completed just 12 flats. Ferrari got the car up and running again. But that only left Massa with under three hours in the cockpit before the next test in Jerez. Ferrari explained the leak was caused by a broken clamp. Unfortunately, the lubricant ended up on the exhaust which led to a small fire breaking out and that caused some damage to the car. That's all from Sports News. I'll now pass to Amiru. That's all for today's news. Thank you for listening to Band FM, your English radio station. Best news.
Challenge is brought to you by Hotlink, your total mobile world.